So I'm going to talk a lot about Trey Lance in this postgame instant reaction. But I'll talk about other stuff, too, because it's not just about him. But first, I want to give a, a an honest assessment of his performance tonight. My dad said he'd give him a B. I gave him an A-, minus, and I think it was a little bit of a curve in the sense that rookie hadn't played in about two years. A uh, little bit of a curve. And I could see, you know, he threw that pick. That drops you down to the B range. If Jimmy Garoppolo had played this game, maybe I'd give him a B. But on the other hand, Jimmy wouldn't make those deep throws. I mean, I can live with one pick if you have all these big plays. If you can avoid a bunch of sacks. One pick wasn't going to lose this game. So, yeah, he threw that pick. He learned from it. He's a rookie. He was a rookie mistake. The thing is, Jimmy Garoppolo makes that mistake consistently. So, I mean, look. Threw a pick early. Got better as the game went on. He had big, 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 big plays. I mean, he had the 45-yard touchdown pass to Debo. That was gorgeous. But he also had other plays. I mean, he had the deep throw to Ayuk that drew a pass interference penalty. Kyle Shanahan has been calling that play all year for Jimmy Garoppolo, and Jimmy won't throw the pass. He looks at it, and he always finds a reason not to throw the pass. Oh, there was a little bit of pressure. It wasn't quite open enough. Lance threw it. And didn't get the completion, but he got a call. That's a whole new element to the 49ers offense. The 45-yard touchdown throw to Debo, Jimmy wouldn't throw it. There were others. I thought Trey Lance's best throw of the game was at the end of the first half, I believe, the deep throw in the end zone to Ayuk. I mean, he couldn't have thrown that pass any better. Ayuk got one hand on it, and both feet in bounds almost caught it. That was a gorgeous throw. And again, Jimmy would not attempt that pass. Jimmy throws little passes over the middle. Trey Lance throws down the field. And that has really, I mean, I don't, I don't think the Niners offense has been this impressive yet this season. They're impressive when Debo Samuel breaks a lot of tackles after the catch, but that's hard. Those are grinded out, very difficult drives. This, the big play. The big play is back. Play action is back. So I was extremely encouraged with Lance. I felt his numerous big plays offset his interception to a degree. And when you step back and look at what he produced, 16 to 23, about 250 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Could have had a third touchdown pass if Ayuk had caught it. Could have had a fourth touchdown on the ground if Ayuk hadn't committed a holding penalty. It was a really good game. And, you know, actually – it was almost identical statistically to Colin Kaepernick's first start. Kaepernick was 25. Lance is 21. Kaepernick went 16 to 23 for about 250, two touchdowns. Lance went 16 to 23 for about 250 and two touchdowns, also threw a pick. The difference, obviously, is the pick, but also, if you remember that game, it was 10 years ago, almost nine years ago. I was there. Uh, <laughs> Colin Kaepernick came out hot. He really put it on the Bears who stunk early and then cruised. Lance didn't do that. Lance struggled early and then put him away late, but the end result was about the same. And what's funny is when you play well early in the game, fans love you. So Colin won over Niner fans and their their coaches instantly. Lance struggled early. The first, most of the first half wasn't great. And there were a lot of angry 49er fans on Twitter. God knows what the organization was thinking. Oh, my God, we drafted the wrong guy. Uh, But he really finished quite strong, and now you're thinking they drafted the right guy. The future's in good hands. The Niners are going to be just fine next year. So I thought it was an incredibly encouraging performance by Lance. He managed the game very well. There were a lot of plays that I thought Jimmy would have gotten sacked that Lance escaped. That's a big addition to the offense. This is a terrible pass-protecting unit. They need someone who can avoid pressure. Jimmy can't. Lance can. And, I mean, just the threat of him running opens up the run game. The Niners came into the the game averaging 4.3 yards per carry. They averaged 4.7 in this game. And the threat of the deep ball opens up everything. So, I was quite impressed with Trey Lance versus Houston. 